So I said that my next uh, part would be doing a mixer. So I've designed the circuit here. Um, I don't know. I just uh, I just wanted to put in buffers just for fun. And uh, since there's four of these, and I put uh, a quad op amp, it's just one I see. So that might be fun. So I'm using a, a TL074 uh, uh, because there's four parts. The other one is a 072, but this is going to be 074. We're going to have 10k potentiometers. Uh, let me <clears throat> write it on here so it'll be complete. If I don't, I won't forget. 10k, 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 and uh, they'll get buffered, and then they'll go into a summation amplifier. So each one will have a weighting factor of one. So gain of one, gain of one, gain of one. All right. So this is what our little circuit board ended up looking like. It's got uh, three potentiometers for a volume of each channel and then an output. And I've made a little cable here to go between the two boards. And so we can turn it on and we can hear it there. Turn it off here for a second. Uh, and we're sending in the uh, square wave. Okay. I can uh, turn down the square wave and I can turn up the triangle wave. Turn down the triangle wave and I can turn up the noise. And the noise got inverted because of my amplifier, so I'm not quite sure about the noise yet. I think I want to capacitively couple in the noise to make it average uh, instead of being pe pegged on one side. I think I think having it capacitively couple will be the smart thing to do, but haven't tried that yet. All right, so we can put in a square wave. Now I can let you hear it. Here's our square wave. Here's our triangle wave. And here's our noise. All right, so we can put in this, so we can add a little bit of that. Uh, and we can put in some of this. <laughs> so, yeah, it's kind of fun. And it all sounds a little bit different. Okay, so uh, built the... Uh, built the mixer, turn down the volume here, and uh, all of these sounds will uh, be modified by filters. So these are just the, the raw uh, oscillators, but uh, then they'll go into filters. Like even the noise, the noise, the random noise, you can put that through bandpass filters and you can get different sounds out of it if you only have, uh, uh, you know, noise right around one kilohertz or noise right around five kilohertz, you know, it, it will sound, it will sound different. So, uh, so yeah, so we have the, uh, this prototype now. I think the next thing to do is maybe try some filters. Um, I have an idea for the voltage controlled oscillate, uh, voltage controlled um, amplifiers. So in order to do envelope, in order to do uh, modulation of these things, I'm going to need a voltage controlled amplifier. And I've looked around the literature of what people have used, and there's some old parts that seemed really nice. Um, one of them seems to be more available than the other one, and so uh, there's a um, store in town who had them, so I went ahead and ordered some. Uh, they aren't cheap. They're about five bucks each, four or five dollars each. Um, so uh, anyway, I got some of those, and uh, I've never played with them before, so that'll be a good, uh, a good video. And then uh, some amp, uh, then some filters, um, high pass filter, low pass filter, voltage controlled filters, um, band pass filters. Yeah, a whole bunch of filters. Um, I might actually just save those until I do the PC board because that'll be a lot of soldering. Uh, so I think I'm getting close to the point. Once I get the um, voltage controlled amplifiers working, I think I'll then commit it to my first PC board. Um, We'll probably go through quite a few PC boards on this project to get uh, to get to where we need to go, but uh, certainly we can commit this to a PC board um, and then start adding adding on to it. But uh, yeah, I think uh, we could have a whole slew of filters and and try those out. Um, I haven't ever built voltage controlled filters before, so that will be pretty cool. They look like a normal filter. They look like a selling key filter, but they have maybe a FET in the center instead of going. Uh, in a Salon key filter, you have a couple twin T filters and stuff in there, and um, you usually pull them down to ground, but you pull them through a FET and, and, and modulate it so you can, you can change things. 
um, or put a FET across the resistor to change its uh, impedance. Um, so that might be interesting. Uh, anyway, there you go. Video for the day. Progress.